Hey guys, I am here with Blair Brown, and Blair is the owner of Visionary Advantages. Visionary Advantages is known to be a one-stop shop for all of your branding and marketing needs. So today we're here to talk about product packaging and specifically how your product packaging can help build customer trust. So Blair, feel free to take it away. Product packaging is so much fun because it gives you that opportunity to really shine as a brand on the shelves, online, if it could be just strictly e-com, um, you could be have your packaging on the booth at a trade show. Um, wherever you're at, it's so important to just make sure that you have the right branding set up first and foremost. What, you know, look into the psychology of different colors. You know, certain colors mean different things. You know, green is, might lead somebody more towards sustainability and, or money. There's different uh, meanings behind colors. Um, orange and red have been known to make people more anxious and hungry. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there's all these different things, but that's packaging design is where you can take all that knowledge and incorporate it into, okay, what is your brand's purpose? Are you guys a sustainability brand? Maybe you're vegan and, um, you know, the whatever's in the packaging is super important. You know, there, what kind of dye is used on the packaging design? Um, what's the process of making it? So all different variables you need to consider, very important because you want to speak to that very specific consumer. And when you're trying to sell a product, you got to get very specific about that because there's so much competition out there that if your product doesn't stand out to the right person, then it's just going to get lost. And that's the last thing that you want to have done. So what I recommend with packaging design, if you're at the very beginning stages, is to look into your branding. If you don't have that set up, definitely get that done first. So that could be your logo, your color palette. Uh, your fonts that you're using, um, important brand language that you want to use. Um, you know, if you're an airline or something, you want to be, maybe it's specific to airline language or terminology, you know, first class and passengers instead of customers. Um, so getting that language down too, because you have to figure out what to write on this packaging. Um, what certifications are you, like, are you FDA, FDA approved? Are there things like that that you that are regulated that you need to share on there is there is it low calorie make sure you have all of that lined up up front um so branding brand language that is branding um but then all of the logistics that have to be on the packaging um you know are you going to have this packaging in a stand is it at a liquor store you know one of those cardboard uh bins is it going to have a shelf talker um, can you tell that I work with a liquor brand? <laughs> um, but it goes not just for liquor brands, but for all kinds of brands. I work with um, different uh, airline partners as well that look for packaging on things like cutlery, for example, you know, the disposable cutlery. So whichever industry you're in, make sure that your packaging reflects your branding in a very specific uh, professional way because you want to be the person that stands out to your competition and you're the first the first thing that people reach out to on the shelves whenever you're surrounded by competitors. So branding, professional packaging all go hand in hand and also have fun with it. Awesome. That was great. If anyone wants assistance with their packaging or just wants to chat with you, how can they get in touch? Chat with me. Send me a note anytime. Um, you can find me at visionaryadvantages.com. You can find all my links and resources there. I have a lot of free resources for entrepreneurs as well. Um, or you can send me a note on Instagram. It's at Hey, it's Blair Brown. Perfect. Thanks so much, Blair. Thanks for having me.